Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Welcome, Welcome to Roost on Record. Hey everyone, it's Karen and Epita here today. On today's episode, we are joined by one of our most loyal supporters, Howard Chen, and we'll be reviewing pop culture trends that have taken the world, or mostly Gen Z, by storm, or just random stuff in our popular culture. We'll take you through things we love, things we hate, and things we generally have no opinion about. Hi, Howard. Hello. So our first trend um, in pop culture we'll be reviewing is Among Us. So what do you think about it? It has absolutely destroyed the humour of our entire generation, and I'm so happy for that. I mean, what do you think about the actual game? Oh, the game. Okay, the game's, like, annoying to play. It's like 90% spectating. Oh, true. So, you know. I think it gets repetitive. Like, it's fun for like the first like one or two games, but then if you're playing it with like the same people over and over again, it kind of gets boring. Yeah, I've never been much of an Among Us person. I just like saying sauce. Yeah, I mean, the memes coming out of it has been pretty fun. And maybe they're getting a bit old. Well, the actual Among Us memes. Maybe not the, I don't know, <laughs> slang. Okay, well, that was it. That was a bit sad. That was a bit sad. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, so the next, well, trend. I mean, I don't know if it's a trend, but, like, just, like, the idea, yeah, of going to, like, brunch and, like, going to aesthetic cafes and going to places, like, for the aesthetic. Honestly, I don't understand. You go to cafes for the food, Okay, are you just going to take photos there and not eat? I don't understand. It perplexes me. Yeah, but like Loki, I'm jealous of the people that can get like pretty food photos because I don't know. I've tried and they don't look good. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, I can Google pretty food photo and get 10,000 results. What's the point of going to a fancy aesthetic cafe? <laughs> to show if you're better than everyone <laughs> No, but aren't you, if it's, like, the food's bad, aren't you, like, wasting money then? No, like, literally, it's just pretty food. And this one time, I went to this, maybe I'm just bad at ordering food. I feel like that's, like, the thing. But, like, I ordered this, I I forgot what it was, but it looked really pretty. And then I ate it. Like, I was so upset because that was, like, $20 down the drain. And I just couldn't eat it. See, you need to get on the Sigma Male grind set um it's where you just don't spend money or interact with society and it's just the best way to do things i've been saving a lot of money recently over the past three months because of not being able to go out stop i've been using more money than i than i was before really because i've become in you know i'm addicted to online shopping now <laughs> it's really bad i haven't left the house like at all since the beginning of last holidays like at all not even for a walk no i'm in like big covid area oh oh, no. oh my gosh that's a bit of a shame i don't know i've been i think i've been really good the only things i've been paying for are like my my essential payments of like netflix and like disney and spotify because <laughs> those are the real things that i need right now okay speaking of netflix um recently the world has been taken by squid game you know it's number one show is it number one show yet i think it is but basically number one show i think it was number one at some point yeah so what are your thoughts about it very big spoiler alert for squid game maybe no we can just spoil people they weren't marked unpopular opinion song Wu was best character hear me out he deserved to win the most he had those ruthless social skills he was like good at manipulating people but also when it came time to be mean and ruthless, he would just kill people. He was the one who deserved to win the most. Oh, Sangwoo <laughs> Sang was a good character. Like, if you think about it logically, I would agree. But emotionally, I do not agree. Uh, how do you say it? Say, say Byok? She did not deserve to die. Okay? Oh my god, she was that done. That fifth game she ending so where they shoot dirty. up the glass. She, yeah, she got done so I, dirty. I was, like, I was like, why did... I was like, oh my... She beat the game fairly. They, they, and then she just... And then she had that, that big shard... Oh no, and then she was just done so dirty. I'm still so mad about that. Could have maybe won. That twist with the old man. 
that was like what do you think of it i like that was kind of sus like it was kind of dodgy yeah it, it felt kind of forced like oh they want to make everything wrap up and like connect in a circular way or something that yeah, just seemed was sort of bad, forced i was like bro he was why did he put people through that much emotional trauma i think afterwards i watched after like the show because there's so many tiktoks about it right and then everyone's making all these theories like oh he should have known and then in that marble episode <sighs> marble episode was tragic my heart just couldn't take that anymore <laughs> i was too emotional yeah honestly ali getting betrayed oh my god i feel so bad for him he was so all he was he was very wholesome all he was trying to do I think he was too nice he though. was and then silently yeah, tricked him to and i was like his family why did you do that? That was pretty um, like giga genius move by Song Wu though. You gotta admit. True. I I still think he deserved to win. Also, he died like honorably. Like, can I just say? I watched a video where it was like how to beat the squid game. And then I love that channel so much. That guy's voice is like amazing. It's cinema summary. That guy's voice is like amazingly relaxing and they're like okay this is how to beat a squid game and then like the actual squid game is like all he has to do is run through the end so he could have just not attacked it was like emotional he could have done it not emotionally or something and he just won the game automatically. yeah yeah because he spent all of his time like trying to kill song Wu when he could have just run to the end and won i guess that's for the plot have you watched alice in borderland alice oh i've seen the first episode of it uh, I haven't watched it yet, I but apparently people are saying thought like, it was really good. It's pretty similar, apparently, or like some people. The holy it's trinity similar. of like Korean or Japanese recent like horror series is Alice in Borderland, Squid Game, and Sweet Home, right? Yeah, Sweet I Home? think yeah. I watched I watched Sweet Home, but no, I don't gen. I generally like can't watch horror or like gore violence stuff horror is so fun i can't take things like Coraline. oh my god that was the scariest that put me off horror movies like it wasn't even horror but that was so creepy i was like i can't watch it that's like, like psychological horror you know, right I, like psychological thrillers. psychological horror can and like pretty, all the like yeah, horror movies scary. and like gore like oh i can't take that a gore is fine gore is fun I love having opinions and I'm opinionless and I'm really upset with that. <laughs> but how have you not seen Squid Game yet? What have you been because doing? Because I'm trying to finish my rewatch of Grey's Anatomy before I start anything else. So that's been taking up all my time. I've been rewatching Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, just public service announcement. Watch Yu-Gi-Oh! because it is the only good anime. We have a trend, not really a trend, but popular culture. Do you want to? It's kind of related. It basically is related. Do you want to move on to yeah, that? What one? is it? It's basically K pop slash anime, and you clearly like anime or enjoy some sort of anime. I'm not like, okay. In terms of anime, I am just roughly familiar. I haven't watched that much anime recently. Demon Slayer, I saw. Like, that's my most recently watched anime. I really liked it. It was pretty good. It has really nice animation that's that's like all i have to say about it are you like a plot type of person or like a character or like character yeah i probably like specific really nice characters more than an overarching plot because plots you know they all follow the same like story circle so it's like tropes and stuff a bit more predictable i'm too scared to start watching anime because i know that like once i start i get because i get so easily entertained i'll be like i'm done for if i start watching anime <laughs> i've only ever watched half of one anime i couldn't finish it because i read ahead which anime was it and then i already knew what happened um i forgot the name it was like girl that dies oh, girl that dies i love that <laughs> that's anime. like half of everything <laughs> No, it's like, I forgot what happened. The piano player. It was a piano player. That's Genuinely all I remember. No idea. <laughs> it's very specific. Arpera, you are a Brooklyn Nine-Nine enjoyer, right? Yes, I am. What did you think of the final season? I think that they did what they had to do. Do you know what I mean? That could mean anything. That could literally mean anything. It wasn't bad. Like, some people are hating on it, right? But I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. I feel like they, they like took what they needed to say and then they made it like entertaining enough. Do you know what I mean? 
Yeah, I think it was pretty good. It was like pretty Except for like the first brand. episode. Yeah, the first episode was a bit, it was a bit much. I mean, that was like the only one that was like a bit, mm. what do you think, Howard, about it? What did you think apart from it was a... Um, I think Holt and Kevin, they're really cute. Like that whole arc was really nice. They match together so perfectly and it's like... I know. Because they understand each other. And they're like... Yeah, they're like such a good couple. Wow, I love them. And then Cheddar. <laughs> love Cheddar. <laughs> uh, fun fact, the original actor dog for Cheddar died just like in the middle of the uh, show's running. What? Yeah. Oh, it's because of a replacement. You've seen two dog. Cheddars. It's a fake Cheddar. <laughs> it's an off-brand Cheddar. <laughs> Our next trend or like in popular culture is like the music artists of right now, Doja Cat, Lil Nas X, and Olivia Rodrigo. He the cowboy guy. Yeah, he the cowboy guy. I listened to one out of three of those artists. Me too. <laughs> Why would you add this to the list? I would guess who it is. Of which one are to listen to? Uh-huh. Uh, who's Olivia Rodrigo? Are you asking or are you saying that that's the one? That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still don't know who she is. Like, what, what does she do? She makes bangers. She was in, you know, High School Musical, the musical, the series. Season one was my guilty pleasure, but season two got so bad. <laughs> I haven't watched season two because I just season two is don't watch it, don't watch yeah, it. Yeah, like it's, it's it's no, it's not worth it. I was so mad. That's so sad. Who's Doja Cat? Are you joking right now? All I can it's like, like a, you know like all I can remember about Doja Cat is that number one they make TikTok songs and number two. Like five years ago, I saw a video of them dressed in a cow suit. <laughs> yeah. And I've just been avoiding ever since. Good, you know, I didn't know that she was the cow person. The horse and the, the moose. Cow person. The moose song or the cow song. I don't know what it's called. But then I like found out about it. I was like, what? You know, I think she makes good songs. I don't personally listen to them. I feel like if I listen to them properly, I probably would like them. But parts that I've heard on TikTok and stuff. They're good. I think she's interesting. TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, <laughs> do you want to move into that? Oh, sure. <laughs> TikTok. What are your thoughts on TikTok? Or like, are you guys on TikTok a lot? I I look at TikTok like once um, a day for ten yeah. minutes and then I get bored. I spend. I'm like addicted to TikTok now. Spend each day. Okay. All I see is like, you know that trend where they go, boom, 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 boom. What is your favorite color? <laughs> And then they get like 10 million likes. TikTok seems like the laziest social media like to blow up on. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Do you have a cat? I spent I don't know. two it, hours. It just seemed kind of boring. Like TikTok niches, they're so fun. Like people make the funniest jokes on there. Literally, if you see anything like that, you just press not interested. And then soon, rather than later, you'll get a perfectly curated For You page. Oh, my For You page is just chaos. The POVs. <laughs> oh my god. You sent me so many embarrassing POVs. I want to gouge my eyes out. So funny. Because I see the reactions to them, right? And then I go into it and they're just too funny. And I just send them to everyone. The TikToks that I enjoy are like are those people like just trying to do something that and then they screw it up and they fall over or something. So like funniest home videos type beat. Like the chaotic <laughs> videos. What do you think about like you know how like a lot of fashion designers they're like making obscure or like designer clothing is like getting ugly or like high art and all that stuff in general? That's so funny to me. Because have you seen that take the money and run? Have you seen that oh, take yeah, the money yeah, and yeah. run? It's so funny. <laughs> it, the, the museum gave oh, like, yeah, a, like, like a blank canvas. For context, this Danish museum gave this artist eighty four thousand dollars to like make art, and then he took the money. He submitted two blank can- canvases, and he titled it "Take the Money and Run." <laughs> and aren't they like trying to sue him or something? Uh, not sure. I don't know, actually. but like they're trying to like get the money back, weren't they? But then he was, uh, the artist just was... reading an article quickly. Jens Haning says he has no plans to repay the Kunsten Museum of Modern Art 
It's it's hilarious. Take the money and run. I think it's very fitting. Uh, what do you guys think of like true crime uh podcasts and stuff? I listen to only Stephanie Sir. Yeah, I've also listened to like a few of Stephanie Sue's podcasts. They're really good. True crime, honestly, it's so interesting. Yeah, no, she's so she's such a good storyteller. Yeah, she makes everything like very I, interesting. Like at the beginning, when I first listened to her, I thought I'd get annoyed. Like you know how her voice is a bit like high pitched, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd get annoyed, but like after like ten minutes, I was just so immersed in her storytelling. She's like my favorite YouTuber. I think. What kind of stuff do you guys uh like? What kind of YouTube sections are you uh in? I don't watch YouTube. You, you don't, don't watch, really YouTube? watch YouTube? Yeah. Um, what? I, just, I, I don't know. I'm so surprised. I YouTube like has so much like I good get content though. Bored. Like anything long, like it's like ten minutes. Like yeah, yeah like, that's uh, too long. <laughs> what do you mean? What you, got, you get ten minutes? How is ten content. minutes it's too like long? Good quality content. Yeah. Or maybe I just don't know where to watch. What What do you guys watch? I watch lots of like uh chaotic engineering videos. Have you seen I Did a Thing? Wait, what is that? He's a YouTuber who is based in Sydney. Oh, I've watched some of his videos before. I've seen every single one of his videos. You Wait, are you guys familiar with like the Nebula creators? All of the um. Oh, like, oh my god, I love watching them. I love watching them. That's so good. Like, like um, Cheddar and like, just like random things, right? They're just explaining things. I'm like, Tom Scott? Yeah. Oh, Tom Scott is amazing. I think they're so interesting. Or like, what is it called? Like, this is. Have you seen Kento Bento? The Ooh, guy who yeah, does, yeah, yeah. Does, uh, the Asian crimes. Oh, yeah, so good. I watch all of those. I love watching those channels as well. And like video essays. I find video essays video so essay. yeah, video interesting. Essay. What is a video essay? It's like you know the what? you know the uh, videos our that is we... just out of the loop. You know how we sent Hold some videos from um, Grey's Anatomy. Each equal? You know how we sent out a few um, videos about like. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, it's basically just like twenty minute or ten minute whatever uh, discussion of a topic. Yeah, I watch a lot of like there's like those educational videos and like random culture stuff, but I also watch like I, I love watching history documentaries. I think that's so fun. history best subject like hands down. Right? Why am I stuck here with you guys? Oh my god. History people are the best people. I don't Anyone know who doesn't like history is just weird. I don't get it. It's the best subject. I don't it's like so history fun. and I'm not weird. All history is annoying. Modern history is supreme. I remember, I think I watched, this is like my favorite documentary. It was like, it was like, it wasn't historically accurate. It was about um, if Queen Elizabeth was a boy on like the first Queen Elizabeth was a boy. <laughs> it was just, they just like, Went on for an hour trying to <laughs> gender bent Queen on... Elizabeth <laughs> head cannon. <laughs> they just went on for an hour. Queen Elizabeth, she like actually the actual girl died when she was young, and so they found some random boy from the village that was a redhead and dressed him up to show to um Henry <laughs> when he came to visit because they couldn't tell him that his daughter was dead. They just <laughs> that was really fun. Okay, that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> conspiracy theories yeah that's my favorite that's my favorite i used to like history until the point where i stopped watching horrible history and then horrible history, I yeah. history. horrible so history good. like top tier s tier children children's show i don't understand so people who don't yeah. like horrible histories 90 percent right? of the people this, i ask so about funny. it they're like what that was so bad i skipped it why would you skip it, it was are so you good. serious yeah people just you know, I had the entire Horrible Histories box collection. The like, book? I, the, books, the books are good. Yeah, I, I loved them. Mm-hmm. I think last year, was it last year? For my history, or was it personal interest project we had to do, I did about Queen Elizabeth. And then so I went to the library and I basically just read the Horrible Histories about her. <laughs> and then Miss Burma was like looking at me. I was like, what are you doing? It's a children's book. It's a children's book for her personal interest project. What are your thoughts about like Marvel's like direction and just Marvel in general? Marvel movies are all the same. Like, it's just yeah. I have not seen the recent <laughs> ones because I just know what they're going to be like. They're kind of boring in my opinion. The only reason I would watch like a Marvel superhero movie is for the character dynamics. Like if it, if there's like a funny actor or like a character that I actually like, like Spider Man, Tom Holland is like back. perfect in that role. 
so I'd like actually watch it. I don't think I'm a like a like a diehard Marvel fan, but last holidays I like went on like a on a binge watch sort of. I still haven't watched everything because I can't get around to watching Civil War. I don't know why, why that movie. That movie, just the beginning and just like the idea of it, really just gives me like anxiety. Like I can't, yeah, I can't watch it. Oh, well, really? Wait, how does how's it I anxiety watched. inducing? I don't know. I just feel an- anxious when I'm watching it. I've watched like ten minutes of it, and I just I couldn't keep going. Superhero movies, like in my opinion, they have this really warped sense of character strength, and it's just like confusing to get a grasp of, like. Obviously, Captain America or whatever, he's like unimaginably strong, but you don't really care. It's like unrealistic. So, you know, it's, it seems kind of weird. <laughs> I, I think personally, like, like, like his, mo- you can see like his muscles have like he's a super this soldier. certain size. Okay, but how, how do he lift helicopter? I don't understand. <laughs> It just doesn't make sense to me. Are you saying that a superhero movie isn't realistic? (laughs) That's that's what you're saying. No, no, no. Come on, bro. It's hard to grasp the scale of what these people are doing. If two people are having like an air fight, there's nothing to resist them from just getting pushed backwards slightly. It seems kind of dumb. Okay, no. Are you thinking realistically in these situations? (laughs) You're not supposed to. Because I want to know how badly they're getting hurt there's no stakes like when everyone's just like, super invincible i think john wick and stuff the action movies that are grounded in reality i think they're like much better at conveying what's actually going on in fights i i get easily caught up <laughs> so i'm easily entertained by it all <laughs> so yeah i'm a very big marvel fan and i'm enjoying i think I feel like it's really difficult to get into Marvel though, like especially their recent stuff, because it's like phase four. So it's like there's so many movies already, and it's like really intense to try and get into. Mm. I feel like once you get, because like there's a lot of like inside jokes, right? And it's like a, a lot of references, cool backs, and like it's yeah. like the yeah, and like it's like the multiverse now. That's like a lot to like kind of try yeah, and it's like, understand. Like Star Wars or like Lord of the oh, Rings, yeah. it's hard to get into because there's already so much like. There's Think just about it. So much lore that you can't keep up with. Yeah. Short stuff is nice. Like you can just get into it and watch it casually. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts about the Kardashians? Oh, the I I don't know anything about the Kardashians except for apparently they got famous by just like willing it into existence. Yeah, I think in like in business that they're really smart with their business and their marketing and all that. <laughs> and I I I think. Because Keeping Up With Kardashians is on Netflix now, or some of the seasons. I watched that for fun. <laughs> but, like, the reason why they're famous is just that they are famous. I think the Kardashians are really funny. <laughs> like, the, they have, like, a... Especially, like, Courtney. Like, she has such a dry sense of humour, but I love her. She's so funny. I l- she's so funny. Like, unapologetically. I'm like, she's like... She's so and They have, funny. like, really iconic lines. They're like, Kim, your sister's going to jail. Stop taking selfies. <laughs> I think they're so funny. I mean, they capitalized on their brand really well. Not much power and money. I'd I'd love that as well. I'd take advantage of my situation as well if I was in their position. Okay, so what do you think about remakes or like reboots or like recently like all of those Hollywood trying to do stuff Um, with all that that stuff? I don't know, man. Those are just like okay. Mulan, I just have like a rant about why Mulan sucks and it isn't like impact like, it doesn't preserve the message of either the original poem or the uh, old animated movie. Like first off, in the new uh, reboot, they made her like some prodigy with magic powers and that just sort of sends the message that oh, Mulan can be uh, on par with like the men and stuff, but only if she has magic powers and she was born more special than everyone else and that kind of just sends the wrong message in my opinion i don't remember if i watched i feel like i watched it i don't remember what happens <laughs> but um yeah i don't i don't know is it, i think is disney just trying to make money off of these because like yeah disney just or disney is evil <laughs> there's a lot of like origin stories and like all of the like 
Cruella. I liked Cruella. <laughs> I think was, I thought it was pretty interesting. As like its own movie, I liked Cruella. And, like they're making a Willy Wonka origin story starring like Timothy Chalamet. I'm so confused. Why are they doing that? Willy Wonka origin story? Yeah. Like, Dang, it's pretty interesting, but like why? Exactly. I think just let him be eccentric. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. All these like Disney remakes. New remakes do be pretty. You know the weird. remake that broke my heart. The Winx remake broke my my heart because I was like I was an avid Winx Club stan when I was like I don't know how old, but like isn't that like I the horse girl it. show? No, this is a fairy, fairy show. show. It was oh my the bad. best. Thing. Like I don't even know how I found it because I remember I was just. I was on YouTube when I was younger and I just found it and I just couldn't stop watching it. And it was the best thing ever. It was literally my childhood and I loved it so much. And I was so excited for the remake, right? And it let me down so much. Yeah, they made it into a, like, a YA. But on its own, I didn't mind it. But like, because I expected it to be so much more and it wasn't. Because I didn't, like, I wasn't like a Winx Club fan. Like I watched only like some of them like I knew of them and all that but I wasn't like into it when I was younger so I didn't have as high expectations going into it so like I was able to separate the two really easily for me so I could actually enjoy the Netflix show like some of it also was really dodgy but like honestly I was just staring at their faces the entire time they're so pretty. So, so pretty, right? You know, like the actress for Beatrix. Oh yeah. She makes me feel things. <laughs> she literally, she makes me feel things. She's so pretty. Oh my god. Okay. Um, is this our last one? Oh wait, TV shows. Oh, I don't know. Have you guys seen uh, How I Met Your Mother? Yes, but I haven't finished it. I've seen like clips oh, of it. What are you up to? Um, not up to much actually. Let me check. Still on the first season. You're on the first. Okay. I've seen like the show in its entirety for like thirteen times. Thirteen it's, times. It's my comfort show. Okay, like yeah, I'll just like put it in the background and I'll just listen to like the dialogue. My comfort show is New Girl. Oh my god, I started. I'm up to I season three of New Girl now. I think. Love New Girl. That show it gives me happiness. How is have you watched New Girl? I have no idea what New Girl is. Isn't that like it's another that sitcom. one with like the tall person? Oh my god. The Zoe Deschanel. Who that? She's the one that looks like Katy Perry. She does not look like Katy Perry. It's just because they have black hair and blue eyes. But Katy Perry's not even naturally dark haired, isn't she? Really? I didn't know that. I think isn't she blonde or something? Wait, what are your measures? I've never Did seen watch- Friends or The Office. Oh, I haven't either. I watched The Office last year. But no, I didn't finish it. I stopped as soon as Jim and Pam got together. Do people watch the show just for Jim and Pam? Oh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I just needed the tension. And then after they got together, it just, it just didn't do it for me anymore. Your thing's kind of boring. Like, I started a lot of, like, sitcoms. Not really. I saw like two. <laughs> I started New Girl and um, the Mindy Project this holidays. And that was it. How about K dramas? Oh, K dramas. I'm. I got it. I started watching them in like 2018, I think, in year eight. Like those holidays, year seven, year eight. And oh, I got addicted. I watched like them all. Oh, I've only seen a few K dramas. Like. Have you seen like the like the most popular ones? I seen Crash Landing on You. Oh yeah. I thought it was really good. I thought it was cute. I thought it was really interesting. But also, I remember watching. I think when I f- first started rewatching K dramas, I watched The Airs. Like that's a really popular old one. <laughs> I was watching it, and I remember I got to like halfway, and I was like, "Wait, I've seen this before," and I didn't realize. <laughs> like so I kept watching I was like no I know exactly what happens and I was so confused because I was like have I watched k-dramas before and then I realized I have I watched like <laughs> I, yeah it was really weird it's too far gone can't even but, re- yeah. can't even remember that it was like watched. like I can't I couldn't even remember I didn't know that it was k-dramas and I was like wow that's interesting but also from k-dramas I started watching c-dramas but also c-dramas I can't watch like the 
what is i don't know it's like there's a word for it but it's like the historical ones i can't watch those but those are like the most popular ones but oh the historical ones like i don't know if it's the right way but like uh, i'm not gonna butcher pronunciation it's like yeah there's like a word for it but i don't remember it i keep but yeah, i can't watch them like i don't know there's just they seem all like, the same it, to me my parents have seen like many of those shows and they oh, all yeah. look exactly like not to perpetuate the well, stereotype they're but they're H- all the right. same <laughs> the outfits are the True. same you know the characters are the same the powers are the same they all have this like weird force thing the next thing i wanted to watch was like a japanese what's it called i think samurai x or whatever Rurouni kenshin that's like the i was gonna watch it today because it just looked really cool <laughs> like <laughs> no i just like a video about it and it just looks dope plus you know cool japanese people oh, two yeah i think is there anything else that we want to talk about i feel like we have like no shows in like common or me anyway i need to i need to watch myself but of course now's the time where i shouldn't watch too much so we've run out of chance to review. So that brings us to the end of yet another Roost on Record episode. Thanks for listening to our opinions on pop culture topics. See you next time. Bye.